That's my big buddy. Okay, um, what we're doing today, folks, is um, today is day six. The calf was born six days ago. And the cat was kind of, the cat, the calf was kind of despondent. Uh, he's kind of like me. He, uh, it, well, I, we found out it was a she on the second day, but she, she's kind of a loner. And it was a rather large calf. We're talking easily. Oh, man. Oh, you got my fat. You got my arm, buddy. Ow! Oh! <laughs> he bit too much jacket. He just got my flesh. All right. Did I smack him in the nose? I'll have to play that back later. I hope I didn't smack him. But sometimes you got to slap him, let him know that he's loving you too much. Now here he goes backing into me again. Anyways, um, the calf, kind of like me, was a loner. The mother was very, was inseparable. The mother was uh, very, very, uh, a great mother and, and always has been and still is today. Um, but uh, the baby didn't want a whole lot to do with mom. Um, with all, and the baby's only like six hours old and I find the baby way out in the woods all by itself. And of course, mom's following it, but the baby kind of wanted to be left alone. And we thought that was odd. And, and uh, day number two, I think I already mentioned in another video, um, the baby, we still had never seen the baby um, breastfeed. And that's, uh, that was very alarming. And it looked like the baby was on a downward spiral for whatever reason. She chose not life, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, so we end up having to um, feed through a esophageal tube and feed uh, the baby um, through a tube and that was quite a challenge for my wife and I because again the, the baby um, is about 150 pounds. I mean just just her knees, her front knees alone are four inches, actually four and a quarter inches wide. Can you imagine coming out of the mother's womb that, 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 that big and chunky? She's a chunky monkey. Anyways, I'm going to go in there and um, see how she's feeding because um, we had a very good friend from church, a brother Randy came over uh, to assess the situation. He's got more calving experience than I and uh, he came over to assess the situation. He also called his veterinarian friend on the phone and uh, he and the veterinarian um, uh, recommended that we uh, that we don't let the calf run loose and, and the cow run loose. That we lock them both in the cattle shed, which is kind of small to be living. They've been in there for four days um, since Friday. And that forces the baby to bond. And that's that was the answer. The baby needed to be forced to bond to mother. And now she does. Now she's bonding to the mother and the mother's always wanted her to bond. And now the baby is, um, there you go, he's, he's got my jacket again. And he barely got my flesh that time. How you doing, sweetie? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're biting me. What are you biting my Levi's jacket for, huh? Give me a kiss. Mm, we love you so much. <laughs> She's, uh, he's very jealous. He wants all the attention. It's hilarious, man. What a pet he has turned out to be. My wife was so wise in getting a donkey. Um, I think she loves the donkey more than me sometimes. Don't tell her I said that. Just kidding. I do tease her about that, though. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go in there right now. Uh, we Mickey Moused it with gates and wired them in there. Going to climb over and going to watch her bond one more time. And then today we're going to let her, we're going to set the captives free um, after... This is again, this is day six of being here on planet Earth. Um, and they've been bonding, forced to bond inside this corral uh, since Friday. And here it is today. What is today? Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. And uh, we're going to be releasing them back out into the pasture and uh, hoping that the baby will not become too appendant, hoping, hoping that the baby will continue to, to nurse and feed off of mommy. So I'm going to. Um, Climb over. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do, well, hi, Mama. Hi, sweetie. You big cow. You big black Angus. Um, and by the way, Mama, it's not Mama the cow, but Mama the wife, my, 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 my bride, 
she chose to name the baby Madeline. I was going towards um, T-Bone or Porterhouse. And I was so frustrated the first two days, I was thinking about calling her Veal Chops. And uh, we decided that she's gonna be our pet Madeline. Gonna feed Mama Cow one more time inside here. Um, I'm out here late today. The donkey was braying a couple times to get out of bed, come on and come on and feed us. Um, so I suspect the baby is already eaten. Oh yeah, the nipples are, are shiny, which is a good sign. And which means um, the baby has uh, been feeding this morning, obviously. Um, but I wanna, want you guys to see this on video. It's hilarious how the baby, Madeline, she's kind of like lights are on, but nobody's home. She's kind of stupid. It's really strange. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of cute. She'll oftentimes go to the front and bang her chest looking for the, the titties on the udder. And mama will moo her back and cause her to go to the back end. And then she, and then the baby finally realizes, whoops, the, um, see like right now, there we go. There we go. Mama's got titties pointing every direction. Yeah, good. She's. I just want to make sure this is working fine. The feeding before we release her into the large pasture. Um, and again, the reason for locking him and confining him into this, this small cattle shelter was to force her to go to the breasts and eat. The baby is so stupid in a cute way, I'm saying this in a positive way, I believe there was one, that sometimes the baby sticks the huge nipples inside her nostril and fills her nostril up with milk. It's hilarious. And then she's got to sneeze it out. Um, Mama's saying, hey, you're getting too close to me. You know, I don't even think there's a... Let me look at that. Oh yeah, there's one nipple pointing backwards. But for some reason, the baby right now is licking the upper rear portion of the udder. Which just goes to show you that the baby's just not all there. And sometimes I wonder if the baby um, lacked oxygen and maybe the umbilical cord which you can see a little, little teeny bit of it right there. Her cord might have been kinked or, and she might have lacked some oxygen um, to the brain for a while. That's might be why she's slow. That might be why she kind of resigned to life and went off into the woods and laid down by herself. And we had to bottle feed her and then tube feed her. Um, yeah, she's good. She's finally got a nipple again. I gotta be careful. Mama cow puts out a pretty good kick. Yeah, see that, that nipple has been dry for like three days. She's not drinking off of that left front udder. Um, but I want you guys to see little, little Madeline. She's so cute. Look at her. Beautiful brown hair. Beautiful brown hair. She's shy. But I remember my parents' calves um, wanting to always sucking on my fingers. This one hasn't done that yet. But look how, look how healthy she is and, and, and how much strength she has now. Rather than just lie down in the woods and resign herself to You little redhead. I suspect when we open the gates or remove them, the baby's going to jump around and buck and flip and just go nuts because she's going to be free. All right. I saw her eat again this morning on the sixth day, and um, I just hope that she continues to eat 
on her own um, in the larger pasture. I mean, she has access to the woods. There's a lot of places where she can go and just resign herself, and and I'm uh, gonna have to keep an eye on that. I'm gonna sign off on this. Well, let me say hi. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh man, you're strong. Look at that little face. Look at that beautiful face. Isn't she a cutie? Come on, okay, there we go. Mm. I'm hoping she gets to be more trusting of me. Now that's not good, sorry about that. She just fell back in the food. With a worried look on her face. Hey you. Here's my magic girl. Good girl. There's Madeline back there. No, oh, she she's worried about one thing right now. She's gonna start eating Jackson's food again. Jackson. Get things back to normal. Yeah, things are back to normal now because she can eat Jackson's food. Come on, little Madeline. Come on, sweetie. Come on out. The donkey and mama cow are being reunited. Another problem that we realized the donkey was protecting mommy because she grew up with the mama cow since they're both babies. And um, they came here together from the same ranch. And so Jackson would get between the newborn baby and mama cow thinking that he, he was supposed to protect uh, mama from the baby. And that was part of the problem too, so. <laughs> yeah, Jackson's getting ordinary. He just nipped on mommy. Oh. Oh, Jackson's got her. Man. <laughs> He, you let him have it, Mom. He bit a whole bunch of uh, Mama's flesh and pulled on her. What's he doing that for? Jackson. Come on, buddy. Yeah, maybe. Let him have it. We've watched her throw him. You know, Jackson, maybe we'll just lock you in the cattle shed. And let them have freedom. Since we, sh we shouldn't be punishing them because of you. Let her have it, Mom. Wow. Go get him. <laughs> Man, between getting booted underneath, now you're getting booted in the head, Mama. Jackson! Uh-oh. Jackson. Jackson. She smells fresh. Don't do that. Fresh womb back there. Yeah, he smells it. That's what it is. He's getting a little excited in that regard. Good girl, you let him have it, Mama. <laughs> Don't let him push you around. Woo! Really knocked Jackson She's back. Strong. She's got a strong neck, man. <laughs> yeah. Good girl, Mama. A couple thousand pounds, that cow. Oh, Mama. Knock herself silly. Maybe I'll get in there and smack Jackson myself. Jackson. Biting her again. Hey you, I'm gonna have you gilded. I'm gonna get you castorated, dude. You're to. You're gonna get castorated. See how sweet he was to me just yeah, now though? He was very cute. He's got that innocent expression like, I can't do nothing wrong. I think it was like, look at her, she's back. Mama thinks I'm perfect. Just like our dog Harvey. This gate is going to go in the pasture, which is behind the camera. Well, here's another revelation. The baby came out and a 
Look at him run. Wow, he runs now. Isn't that so great? But the donkey won't leave the baby alone. So I've got the other gate that was up there now on the pasture behind me back where it came from. So in a minute, I'm going to lock. That is so cute. She's running. Good boy. That little fart. Boy, she's come a long ways from being sick. Look at that little girl, man. She's stout. She's matured so much in six days. But Jackson, you got to go, man. See, Jackson's uh, trying to keep the baby separate from the mom. That's unacceptable. So Jackson, you're out of here, bud. You are out of here, man. Donkey's unacceptable. Jackson, the donkey's actually trying to keep the baby away from the mother. That is where I will step in and defend the mama cow and the baby. Jackson. We'll protect you, little girl, okay? Jackson! Come on. All right, we got Jackson. We're able to catch him. The little jackass. One-year-old brat. He's a one-year-old toddler, and he's got to go into another pasture. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Jackson now is released into a pasture on his own. That's about a three acre pasture, so he's gonna be spoiled. He'll be by himself even through the storm. He has no cover, no shelter. But bud, you ain't gonna do that to my little baby calf and you ain't gonna do that to the calf's mama. Yep. This is the first time I've ever seen the baby eat on its own, her own outside of the confinement center that we had him locked up. Look at, that. Look at her slammer. I love the way she headbutts mama's udder. Boom! Sometimes she hits it so hard. See, the baby also had a problem with her palate and her tongue. And she did not know how to suck, even from a bottle. So she's made tremendous improvements in six days of life. Okay, there you go, buddy.